Hey guys, I'm Tatiana Lampa. We're gonna be working from the core upper and lower abdominals. My client transformed her abs, and you can too, with this 10 minute workout. We have five exercises. There will be 45 seconds each. There will be a 15 second rest in between. We go two rounds, total of 10 minutes. First one out of the five are your good old V-ups. So you're gonna go ahead, start off in this hollow body, pressing your spine down, biceps by your ears. You're gonna pop it up, reach for your toes, but you're aiming to get onto your tailbone. If you do feel like this is a little bit too difficult, totally fine. You're gonna take your knees to your chest and then lower down. So going still onto your tailbone, using that breath, and bring it right back to those V-ups. Stay with me, guys. What I do not wanna see from your V-ups is when you drop your chest and lower down your leg, that's when you lose that tension. I need you to maintain that hollow body the entire time. All right, guys, we have just 15 more seconds. Push through. Almost there. Push it, push it, push it, guys. Final countdown, you have five, four, three, Two and one, go ahead, take your knees to your chest. Go ahead, rock side to side. We're gonna set up in just 10 seconds. We're gonna set up for your reverse crunch. You're gonna take your hands by your head, knees into that tabletop. We start in three, two and one. Go ahead, take your knees to your chest and then press your legs out. So you're gonna take the knees to the chest, lift the hips up, kick your feet out. So my head and shoulders are lifted here just to maintain that tension. At any time, if you need to, just lower down the head. Please do so. Where are we aiming? Oh my God, I feel it already. It's all into that lower abdominal portion. Good, keep it staying, keep it going guys. Almost there, push it, push it, push it. All right guys, we have 15 seconds right here on the clock. This is your ending, fight, fight, fight. You have five. Four, push it, three, two, and one. Go ahead, relax here, guys. You have 15 seconds. If you need to shake anything off, please do so. You can take your knees to your chest. We're gonna go into around the world. So you're gonna raise your legs up to the ceiling. Hands are by your side, giving me this letter T position. We're gonna start to make a circle in three, two, and one. Go ahead, make that circle. So I want you to think about aiming for the corner of every part of the room. Either you're gonna make it really big, but without compensating your form. So what does that mean? That means that you're not arching your low back. So I want that back to stay anchored down. If you do need to modify, easy. You're gonna make a cute little circle here, aiming just staying to that right side. If you want some more tension here, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Feel that upper and lower abdominals. So coming from that reverse crunch, oh my gosh, it is burning. Guys, stay with it, we have 15 more seconds. Oh my gosh, yes, press it down, press it down. Almost there, we're gonna finish really strong for this right side. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, take your knees to your chest. Rock side to side, so we do that right side. You have to do that left side, right? You have to make it all even. 10 seconds, you're gonna raise your legs up. Same thing, now we're going to that left side. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, make that circle. Now going to your left side. Same deal. So I want you to think about hitting every corner of the room, either making a small circle or a big circle, really up to you, whatever works best for your body. <sighs> Remember, if you do want to add in a little bit more tension, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Really great, guys. Almost there. Fight, fight, fight till the end. Let's transform the bottom part of your abdominals Guys, we have less than 15 seconds here. Use that breath, it's gonna help. Guys, this is your final countdown. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, relax here. Take your knees to your chest. We're gonna go ahead, pop it on up. We're gonna set up for your plank up. So you're gonna go ahead, set up into that high plank. We're gonna start in 10. You're gonna drop those elbows in five, four, Three, two, and one. Follow me here. You're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand. We're gonna alternate your side. You're gonna drop left elbow, right elbow, press up to your left hand, right hand here. If you do find yourself rocking a little bit with the hips, easy. I want you guys to open your legs a little bit wider for stability. 
Now drop it down, making sure that your lower abdominals are contracting, squeezing your glutes here, working the corner of your chest, your triceps, and your core. Great job, guys. Stay with it. We have 15 more here. Hips are not rocking. Stay with it. Final countdown. We go five, four, three, two, and one. Recover here. Round one is done. We go for that second round. Same deal. We're going 45 seconds on, 15 second transition. We're gonna set up for those good old V-ups yet again. We start in three, two, and one. Go ahead, let's fight till the end, guys. This is your final round. You're gonna go ahead, reach up towards your toes, lifting up onto your tailbone. Remember, if you need to modify, totally fine. We always have to find that baseline so you can take your knees to your chest. Keep it going. I'm gonna bring it right back to those V-ups because I love them so much. Stay with it, guys. Almost there, almost there. All right, now I'm starting to fatigue, guys. Stay with me, yes! We have 15 more seconds. Almost to that finish line. This is it, you have five, you have four, you have three, two, one. Go ahead, take your knees to your chest. We're gonna rock side to side. 10 seconds, we set up for those reverse crunches. Hands are by your head, knees are in that tabletop. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, take those knees to your chest. Go ahead, kick those legs out. This is your final time doing these reverse crunches. Maybe make them a little bit better than you did that first round. Still thinking about abs pulling down. Think ribs come down the entire time. So yes, you're gonna start to feel those lower abdominals contract here. Remember that modification, guys. If you need to relax the head, go ahead, relax the head right here. Releasing that tension from your neck, guys. We have 15 seconds, let's go. Come on, come on. Guys, this is it. We have five, finish strong. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, take your knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Whew. You guys are feeling this, I know it. We're gonna go straight into those around the world. Legs are up, hands are by your side. We go in five, four, we make those circles in three, two, and one. We go around that world, making that circle. Oh my goodness. Go ahead, hit every corner of the room here. Final time for this right side. Remember, if you guys do need to modify, you just make your circles a little bit smaller. That's totally fine. You're still aiming for those lower abdominals. Whew, from that reverse crunch to this, this is killer and that's okay. We're gonna fight through, it's gonna burn so good here. Guys, 15 seconds. Woo! Almost there. Really press your spine all the way down. Guys, final countdown, you have five, four, stay with it for three, two, and one. Go ahead, take your knees to your chest. Go ahead, rock side to side. Last time for your around the world, we go left side, right? We're gonna make everything even. Your arms are by your side, the legs are up. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go make that circle towards the left, and then go ahead and lift up and around. So if you did want that tension a little bit more, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You're gonna to start to feel that in your upper abdominals. What I love about this good old around the world is that yes, we're working our lower abdominals, but you're also working your obliques when you start to go down to the side. That's my oblique working here. Almost there. Good old lower abdominals. All right, guys, final countdown. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, flip it on over, guys. We're gonna set up for your plank ups. Last exercise here, I swear you're not gonna see them again. So you're gonna set up into that high plank. We go in five, four, three, two, right here it goes. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You're gonna alternate your side again. You're gonna drop that left elbow, press up to that left hand. Remember, if you do find yourself rocking and rolling, all you need to do is open your legs a little bit wider for stability. Drop the elbow, hand, hand. So what I do love about this exercise, guys, is that it's a good old compound exercise. What is it working? It's working the corner of your chest, your triceps, and your core. 
I mean, nothing better than that. Squeezing your glutes, tighten your core, less than 15 seconds. Use that breath, guys. We are so close to that finish line. This is it, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Recover. All right, guys, your homework is to do this three times a week to really see the difference into your abs and to even think about sculpting your abs right here.